Hey, Stefan from Zauber here. So I'm going to say next year will be the year of the AI agents that will really help AR to break through because generative AI and specifically in the shape of an agent that can really, you know, help you achieve things, guide you during your shopping, but also guide you in a museum is such a great interface and makes a lot of sense in AR because when you put this agent in a body of some kind of character that you can interact with, that you can become friends with, and that you can actually see with the help of AR, see right next to you in your world. This is where AI and AR truly becomes magical. Yeah, and I think it's a match made in heaven. And that's what I'm going to predict for 2025. 2025, we believe the future of XR is all about accessibility and integration. First, the standalone headsets will be good enough to deliver high quality XR experiences across a wide range of use cases. Second, automatic transformations of existing industrial 3D models into XR content using third party integrations. This will make XR collaboration faster and more intuitive than ever. Finally, 2025 will be the year mixed reality truly takes off. New versions of almost every manufacturer will come with high quality RGB pass through cameras, bringing XR into prime time. Bye. In 2025, we'll see the XR industry continue to split in terms of development. On the enterprise side of things, multi-user XR is taking over the world. For culture and entertainment, with Eclipso, for example, who are growing their footprint across the globe. EVA is opening a new venue closer to the heart of Paris, and Sandbox continues to expand globally with huge IP tie-ins. Multi-user for XR training too will continue very strong in 2025. Amongst others, HGXR from Hologate has multiple police and defense contracts. XR for mental health is really growing too. Mind Immersive is having great success with elderly care and Axios is doing amazing work to help people with PTSD. Mixed Reality is also growing a lot on the enterprise side. With the groundwork from HoloLens and Magic Leap, MR will be much more commonly requested by ordinary enterprise customers next year. On the other side, Consumer XR is uncertain, but what do you expect when one company is adamant about taking huge losses every single month to try and monopolize the market with artificially deflated price points? So the big trend for 2025 is clear, enterprise XR. There is so much innovation happening and growth in every vertical.